Look at this comment here on the video here, on this video that I have shown before. Look this comment here. I feel that I can typically tell when a YouTube polyglot is fake. One, I can sometimes hear that the pronunciation is awkward and horribly off from native or proficient speakers even while I don't know the language well myself. Some of them are just quite bad. It's not only about the pronunciation because some of them they make good pronunciation but still they cannot speak the language. Number two here, people they interact with in this other language sometimes look as so they are thinking what the hell is this person saying. Number three, there are a lot of edits throughout these conversations. There's usually an edit every time they're about to give a response in the language. For the person converses with all people at the most basic level. My name is, what is your name? Where are you from? I would like some food. Same like Guter Kurduina. Yeah. If they're upfront about just learning the language and we're seeing the process of learning great, no problem. And I think this Oriental Persian also do the same bullshit nonsense. As far as language learning channels, I typically just follow people that are native speakers of the language I want to learn. Piece of French, Inner French. This guy, Inner French, that YouTuber Inner French is also a scammer. He make video with, or he made a video about Luca Naprello, the video I already showed before, that is totally fake and edited. And he also have a video with Steve Kaufman. He's working together with those people. He's part of this language learning scam community, this YouTube channel, Inner French. And there are other YouTube channels that teach people French who are also native speakers, but they're not part of this language learning scam community. But this YouTube channel, Inner French, that you mentioned here is also part of the language learning scam community. Question, do you ever miss living in the US? And look, she respond here. Look her respond, her bullshit respond. Because I think she's also fake and bullshit, but I did not watch her videos. I took a look on one of her videos and it looked looks like it was fake, but I did not really watch her videos. Look here, you are very smart to notice the little edits in those suspicious videos. Sometimes they are just trying to cut out the fat and make the video, sh video shorter. Other times is editing out mistakes. Yeah, I do miss the US. I want to visit home. But look what she said. Look what she said here. Sometimes they are just trying to cut out the fat and make the video shorter. Really? So when they are making some edits because they cannot speak the language and looking and reading from a script. They do that to cut out the fat and make the video shorter, really. So when they edit the videos, so they can look and read from their script, that means that it's because they are trying to cut out the fat and make the video shorter. You're full of bullshit, and I think there's a big chance that you do the same. That's why you're defending this. And she also say other times is editing out mistakes. Sometimes they're just trying to cut out the fat and make the video shorter. Other times is editing out mistakes. Really bullshit with you. I think there's a big chance you do this kind of editing. That's why you're defending this. There's a big chance you're doing the same kind of editing. That's why you're defending this. I've watched a little bit from one of your videos. And I noticed that you did an edit just before you were going to speak. I've watched a little bit from one of your videos and I noticed that you did an edit just before you speak because you wanted to look and read from your script. I think you look and read from your script and you made an edit just before you speak. I noticed that in one of your videos, but I only took a look of one of your videos. You have not watched your other videos and I think you're doing the same kind of bullshit. That's why you defend this here. That's why she's defending this and saying that they cut out the fat and make the video shorter. Other time is editing out mistakes.
you defend this bullshit because you're doing the same and I don't think you learn Japanese or Chinese and I look at your channel and it looks like you're living in Japan maybe you have learned a little Japanese but you pretend that you are high level in Japanese and I don't think you can speak Chinese I think you're full of bullshit I think maybe I've only practiced a little Japanese and maybe you have learned few words or few things in Chinese but you also edit your videos and you're re reading from a script you are also totally fake that's why you're defending this that's why you defend this and make it look make it look like it's about making the video more short or or editing out mistakes I'm very sure you're also reading from a script and editing your videos and pretending to be high level in Japanese and Chinese and there's a big chance this math versus Japan is also totally fake because it takes many years to learn a language especially Japanese and Chinese it takes many years to learn those languages so there's a very big chance that you are totally fake and you only know very little beginner stuff in Japanese and Chinese but you edit your videos and reading from a script and the same with Matt versus Japan also this Matt versus Japan he wants to pretend that he become fluent or high level in Japanese in very short time I'm very sure this Matt versus Japan is also fake maybe he practiced some Japanese but he wants to make it look like he become fluent or high level in Japanese very fast you just read from a script and practice the pronunciation so you will sound like you're almost like native or high level in the language this whole language learning community you're just some fake shit people who practice the pronunciation and read from a script to pretend that you're high level in a language that you cannot speak or pretending to be high level in a language that you only practice few beginner stuff you're just some fake shit people and that's why she defend this bullshit about editing that's why she defend this bullshit about editing because she's doing the same this fake shit person I think she seemed like Wuta Koduina I think she seemed like Wuta Koduina but in Chinese and Japanese she just practiced few beginner stuff and edit the videos and reading from a script I think you're full of bullshit you oriental pearl and you work together with other youtubers all of these language learning youtubers and polyglot youtubers working together with this camp community and I, I'm very sure you're full of bullshit also Oriental Pearl I'm very sure you're full of bullshit you're not fluent in Chinese and Japanese I'm very sure that you just know some beginner stuff maybe you have learned a little Japanese if you live in Japan but I don't think you can speak Chinese also I don't think you're fluent in Japanese yet because it takes long time to become fluent in a language I'm very sure you're full of bullshit and you just make some fake edited videos reading from a script but there's a comment I also want to show here another comment here this one look I'm a fan of yours learning a language isn't easy your ability to speak in English Japanese and Mandarin Chinese fluently speaks for itself really she can speak Japanese and Mandarin Chinese fluently really Thanks for keeping it real. Anyone who gives the impression that language learning is easy is simply deceptive. I'm very sure she's deceptive. If she say that she's fluent in Chinese and Japanese and she only stayed there maybe in Japan for a few years, then she becomes suddenly fluent in Japanese and Chinese just because she makes some fake edited videos reading from a script. Then she's also deceptive and lying to people. Thank you so much. I like keeping it real. You like keeping it real? I'm very sure you're full of bullshit. You are also reading from a script and editing your videos. You also read from a script and edit your videos and practice the pronunciation to pretend that you are high level in Chinese and Japanese. Oriental Pearl, I'm very sure you're full of bullshit. You also practice the pronunciation. And just read from a script and edit your videos to pretend that you are fluent and high level in Chinese and Japanese two languages that will need you at least five years ten years or something 
to become fluent in those two languages. It means that you should have learned those languages since you were a little kid if you're going to be fluent in those languages at the age that you are now. I don't know how old you are now, but you still look like you're still a young person and you only stayed in Japan for a few years. You did not become fluent in Japanese and Chinese in only a few years, becoming fluent in two languages that takes many years to learn. You did not become fluent high level in two languages that takes many years to learn. You're full of bullshit and you just make some fake edited videos reading from a script and pr practice the pronunciation. You just practice the pronunciation for your video and then you make some fake edited videos reading from your script. You're just full of bullshit. And look her channel description here. Chinese and Japanese hybrid channel, no fancy editing. Yeah, bullshit with you. I'm very sure you'd make your videos totally edited. I watch a little from one video and it looks like it was full of edits. And you edit every time before you say something in Japanese. Just real experience in my daily life as an American in Asia. English welcome to Oriental Pearl named after the tower in Shanghai. Okay, so because you made your YouTube channel name after the tower in Shanghai, it means that you can speak Chinese fluently. Bullshit. Okay, let's see here. And she wants to say that she has been in Asia since 2012. So I want to say that you have been there for 10 years and that's why you can speak Chinese and Japanese now. Yeah, you're full of bullshit. How do we know if you have been there since 2012? Also your YouTube channel, your videos is only two years ago. I see her videos. She started uploading videos two years ago, but she wants to say that she has been in Japan and China for 12 years. Look here, her first video here was two years ago. Where she writes something about living in China and after that, some video about Beijing, Tokyo. And I'm not really sure if she lived in China or not. Because it looks like most of her videos later on is in Japan. Maybe she just go to vacation in China and after maybe she go and live in Japan. And I've seen something also on Reddit, some people say that they don't think that she can speak fluent Ch Chinese and fluent Japanese. I think she's full of bullshit. Her first YouTube video was two years ago. Her first YouTube video was two years ago and I think she has just been in China, no, maybe in Japan. I think she has been in Japan for one year or two years. Maybe in the start she only go there on vacation because you can see she also has some vlog in Burma. I think she maybe she has only been in Japan for one year or two years or something like that. I think in the start she just go to vacation in China and Japan and also Burma here. Burma, Myanmar, you can see the first video in the top. Burma, Vian, Myanmar, vlog. I think in the start she just go there on vacation. And then I think she found some Japanese boyfriend or something like that. And I think... I see that they got married or something like that. I think in the start she just go there for vacation. And after that she moved to Japan. And she have only been in Japan for one year or two years or something like that. Maybe she have only been in Japan for one year or two years living in Japan. And then she want to pretend that she's fluent in Chinese and Japanese. Because she have been in Japan for one year. But she want to pretend that she have been there since 2012. I think she's full of bullshit. If she can really speak the languages and she's fluent and high level in the language, why she did not make some long live stream showing her language skills? If she's really fluent in the language and high level, why she did not make some long live stream in Chinese and some long live stream in, in Japanese? Only she makes some fake edited videos, same like Exomniac, same like Exomniac. She just makes some fake edited videos, same like Xiaomnik and same like Wouter Corduina. Just going out on the street and surprising people. Going out on the street, surprising people. Speaking Chinese or Japanese. 
just some fake edited bullshit videos pretending to be high level in Chinese and Japanese. I think she's full of bullshit. Look here on this one and read it. And read it Chinese. Oriental Pearl YouTuber, what do you think of her? Do you think she is basically a female Xiaoma? <laughs> yeah. She is female Xiaoma in the sense that she posts those cringy videos of shock native speakers react to a lower speaking Chinese. Also, I find her channel name super cringe too. It's one thing for a building to be named that, another for a non Chinese YouTuber to name themselves that. It's like feeding off some exotic vibe, Aimo. As an European with a Japanese girlfriend that lived in Japan, I find her content cringy as fuck. She is a weeb, but she made a video eating nori seaweed after living two years in Japan and saying it was bad. Also, her Japanese horrible, horrible. I can't believe she really lived two years there. See, this person said that she has been living in Japan for two years or something like that. But she pretend that she has been in Japan and China for 10 years or something like that. She must be only talking to Chinese people for me. It's a no, blah, blah. Uh, also here, look. This one. Also her Japanese is horrible. Her Japanese is horrible, so he say that, or this person said that her Japanese is not good. I think she's full of bullshit. She just makes some fake edited videos reading from a script. Same like this whole language learning community. I don't think she's fluent in Japanese and Chinese. And I'm not sure how long she have stayed there. I think maybe she have only been in Japan for one year or something like that. But she pretend that she have been in Japan and China for 10 years now. I think she's full of bullshit. She made her YouTube channel two years ago. And she just go to vacation to China and Japan and some other Asian countries. Just making some vlog videos in different countries. And I think after that she go to Japan and stay in Japan maybe only for one year or something. She did not become fluent in Chinese and Japanese in only one year. She is full of bullshit. She wants to pretend that she has been there for 10 years, but I think she's full of bullshit. She's just full of bullshit, like this whole language learning community, all of them full of bullshit. And if she can really speak the languages, if she could really speak Chinese and Japanese at high level, she would have made some long live streams showing that. But she's full of bullshit. She can only speak Chinese and Japanese in some fake edited videos reading from a script. She can only speak Chinese and Japanese in some fake edited videos reading from a script. Same like this whole language learning community. They can only speak languages in fake edited videos reading from a script. Just some fake bullshit people, all of them. I don't want to waste too much time on her channel. But I'll just show you very fast that you can see her videos full of edits. Why her video is full of edits? Because I think she's reading from a script and also it looks like she bring her boyfriend with her. It looks like she bring her boyfriend with her. And I think he will tell her what to say in Japanese. And then she will just repeat after him.